coming up next, it's the UFC light heavyweight division collision. strikers in this division sprawl and brawl whatever you want to say he's going to try to keep this fight standing tonight it does not matter how he accomplishes it all he wants to do is be on his feet and at range hitting you with the beautiful jab staying away from the grappling exchanges you don't accomplish all the things that this man has accomplished over the course of his career without understanding distance he has great distance management which then in turn allows him to land all these beautiful the first kicks Spinning back kick, jumping high kick, so many things he possesses that he will try to use tonight in this fight. Yeah, if this turns into a kickboxing match tonight, so, most people so, believe, yeah, his opponent is in a so world of JK. trouble. All right, here he is for my money. Mike, the most well-rounded fighter in this division, a true mixed martial artist at his core, and he believes he'll have a lot of advantages in this matchup tonight. Everyone talked about him being well-rounded. It's unbelievable to watch a guy that can do everything across the board at such a high level. Yeah, he's comfortable wherever the fight goes. Maybe he'll grapple tonight, maybe he'll strike. Makes him a hard guy to prepare for. take for this light heavyweight fight. Both fighters are 34, and they both possess a similar height and reach. The veteran voice of the Octagon, Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC, the light heavyweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands six feet three inches tall, weighing in at 205 pounds. Tigre. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, holding a professional record of 33 wins, 19 losses, one draw, and one no contest. He stands six feet two inches tall, weighing in at 205 pounds. Fighting out of Temecula, California, smiling, Sam Alvey. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon is Dan Mergliata. So Dan Mergliata shares the cage. You ready? You ready? Let's go. Well, DC is broke, and that's why he's working the birthday. It is March 20th. Happy birthday, my man. I'm broke, John, and I hope that you spend some money on my lapel right here. I'm just trying to chase the cash, and I know in this arena, Dana White, somewhere, Dana, open up the pocketbook. It's my birthday. Big kick land. Looking to land the right hand, he misses. here, but just out of range. Well, he's always on the counterattack, but a nice leg kick there by smiling Sam Alvin. Under three minutes now to go in the round. Check that leg kick. Got clipped with the right hand. He's 
throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. Missed with that attempt. Look at him working at trying to shut the liver down. That right hand hurt him a little bit. Oh, with authority, the body. Big knee to the body. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one up? Well, one got through, that kick was blocked. Oh, beautiful jab by him there. Got that to the target quickly. He's dictating the fight with a jab. Oh, nice jab. Left hook to the head. Final seconds here of round one. That one certainly found the target. Take a look back at some of the replays from that last round. Unbelievable to see these high-level competitors get in each other's face, tuck their chin, bite down on the mouth guard, and just let it all hang out over the course of five minutes. All right, here we go with our next round, and how about the striking display in that previous round? He found a lot of openings upstairs, and when we sat down with him on Thursday, he said this dude doesn't move his head, and. Largely, that's how it's played. That's exactly how he thought it would be, and it's exactly what he's seeing early in the fight. Opponent's not moving his head, and he's more than happy to connect over and over with those one two. Over and over, he's landing this big body kick. Oh, and he lands a punch there. Good connection by him on that. Great connect, so fast, so accurate. And watch the ability to land anywhere. Oh man, that's a nice kick right there. He's doing a great job of landing that kick over and over again. You don't really stand after you take a head kick like this. That is such toughness to even be on his feet right now. Nice leg kick. There's a land with the kicks. So, oh, that is a huge shot there, DC. I'm not sure how he'd stay upright. I mean, when you can hit with a shot like that, to stay standing the shoulder and talk to your top. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. So a huge knockout victory for that fighter here tonight. All right, let's take a look back at the replay. It ends up a knockout, but this was really a striking clinic from the moment they touched Glenn. I mean, a competitive fight that one guy finally found the shot that ended the fight. But both of these warriors displayed a ton of heart. One guy got the finish, but neither guy should be disappointed in their performance.
All right, let's get it inside the octagon to Bruce Buffer for the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Mergliata has called a stop to this contest at four minutes, one second of the second round. Declaring the winner by knockout, LT Man. Well, we congratulate him on a huge knockout here tonight. He'll probably keep that smile while he's sleeping tonight after what he was able to produce. Here. He's going to be smiling for a really long time. When you get a knockout like that, not only do you get the win, you also most times walk away with a $50,000 bonus check.